What's going on, friends? Sam Predis here, back once again. I'm out here at Formnext in Germany, and I've stopped past long-term partners, Any Cubic, to take a first look at something absolutely huge. Yes, it's the brand new Cobra S1 Max combo. And you might remember from last year, the smaller S1 combo, well, this is the next step up. A bigger, faster, and smarter machine that clearly is designed for creators who want serious build volume and multi-color capacity. And it certainly looks like Any Cubic have been watching the market closely, and they've realized exactly what people want. A large format Core XY 3D printer with performance, high temperature materials and up to 16 colors all inside of one system. Well, let's take a closer look. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. Well, here it is, the Cobra S1 Max Combo, which offers a 350 by 350 by 350 millimeter build volume, giving you space for full helmets, cosplay armor, or even large prototypes, all in one go. It's built on a Core XY motion platform capable of 300 millimeters per second, recommended print speed, with a maximum of 600 millimeters per second, and acceleration of 20K. That means fast movement, crisp detail, and impressive throughput for a machine this size. At the tool head, you'll find a hard steel nozzle capable of reaching 350 degrees Celsius. So this isn't just another PLA printer. It's ready for high temperature and abrasive materials like PC, ASA, PACF, and PETGCF, all supported by an active heated chamber that maintains around 65 degrees Celsius for improved air addition and reduced warping. I'd say one of the standout features on the combo version is the addition of the Ace Pro multicolor system. This is an external module that can handle up to 16 filaments all at once. You will need three other modules in addition to this that handle four spools per module. They automatically switch materials and colors during a print. It includes an airtight filament storage, active drying of up to 65 degrees, and also refill functionality. So you can keep those spools conditioned and ready without having to worry about moisture sensitive materials like nylons and PETG. Control comes in the form of a 4.3 inch touchscreen and an interface that includes smart features we've all come to expect from any cubic. Flow dynamic control, vibration compensation, power loss recovery, and filament detection runout. There's also a built-in AI spaghetti detection designed to pause the print if it detects failure before it wastes time or material. Connectivity on this one is flexible with a Wi-Fi 6, Ethernet and USB drive options. You can print directly from the Anycubic slicer or control it remotely via the Anycubic app. There's even a 720p video monitoring and time-lapse recording so you can watch the progress live or capture your prints from anywhere at any time. The great news here is the S1 combo also supports a wide range of materials, and that's due to the hot end setup and also the temperature control inside of the box. From everyday PLA to PETG and TPU, to solid ball supports like PVA, and even tougher engineering grade filaments like ABS, ASA, PC, carbon fiber reinforced blends, and that really means that you can move from decorative prints to serious functional parts all inside of this platform. For me, the large print area and the step up from eight colors to 16 is certainly a big step in the right direction for Eddie Cubic. My S1 combo has certainly served me proud over this past year, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing the improvements on the Max. But before I sign off though, I wanna catch up with the team here in Germany, so don't go anywhere. We are in shot. You are not in shot. You can go, we can be like this together, together like this. This is nice. I don't know where should I be. Well, you can maybe go this side. There you go. Hey. It's a big machine, isn't it? Right, I'm here with Finn. Finn, how are you? I'm very well. We've known you? each other now for like three years. This yes. is kind of crazy, isn't it? Still with any cubic. This is your big boy beast, 350 by 350. Multicolor, 16 colors. Is that right? Yes. When's this going to be available? January. January. Price? Price. You, you can see it's on pre order now. It's like 759. 759. Okay, that's pretty good. What's unique about this above? Other companies, would you say? Big, stable, multicolor, and and the capable to print in industrial gray material. Yeah, I mean it's still active heating chamber inside the A system as well. But you're right, you're right. I think the big selling point of this, which is fairly unique, is the 350 350 bed. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Anyway, <laughs> you, maybe maybe you should. Maybe you should. So we're both we're, like this together. Yeah. Are you going to hold me? Oh, that's cute. Whether you're a hobbyist, a student, or a pro engineer, PCBWay.com has you covered. From simple two-layer boards to complex multi-layer designs, they offer high-quality PCBs with fast turnaround and competitive pricing. Plus, their assembly service and 3D printing options make them the one-stop shop for makers, so visit PCBWay.com. 
and turn your ideas into reality. Thank you once again to PCBWay for sponsoring this channel. Ross is here. This is... Come oh, in. How are you doing, guys? There you go. Do you know how to hold one of these? Yeah. Um, what are you, what's your thoughts on this? Wow. You've got a... Uh, Everyone needs a prop nowadays. They do, don't they? Genuinely, I'm not going to say, watch my reviews. Uh, I like the size. I think it's good that more brands are going after this form factor. I think 350 is a good push, yep. especially with the competition on the market. Pushing to 350 is important. Yep. It's an upsell that some brands don't have. I really want to try it. I've got some questions about general longevity. Uh -huh. I love the updates to the Ace 2. The side pooper. Yes. Interesting. Isn't it? Very. Isn't it? Yeah. One thing that someone was telling me about this yesterday, I've got a mic here, Didn't um, realize. was the bed seems to be a three mil bed. Yeah. So we know what that means. And potentially there, we could have some issues, but we're not probably not going to know because I think it's going to be locked down still, isn't it? See, this is the thing where you're, you're asking me about bed sizes, thinness, temperatures. I don't care. That's not, that's not <laughs> what I cover. I'm like, does it work? Does it look good? Is it sexy? I'm the idiot, remember? You're not. I'm, I'm representing. You're a beautiful, beautiful, I'm, lovely man. Oh, that's what we get are. a room? We should get a room, um, shouldn't we? We'll do that after the show. But yes. In all seriousness, yeah, like then. when it comes to the tech specs, I'm more interested in user experience. Mm. And this is something, especially with, I think it's something that Walker has kind of leveled the playing field for everyone. Yeah. That user experience is dead on. So for me, it's about what conveniences they build into the actual printer itself yeah. that allow you to use it easily. And it does look well built. It You've does. got Ethernet connector on the back there, 16 colours. I don't mind the Ace system either. I think I think the way that it purges and stuff is actually fairly interesting. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be down. The proof will be very much in the pudding. Oh, without it? a doubt. I'm glad you brought up the, um, the, the Ace because one thing this does that I didn't realise that other machines don't do is when you've got an AC that, that has four tubes out going right to this hub nearer yep. the hot end, it does just give you that slight improvement on colour changing speed. Again, oh, really? more convenience because you're not having to feed all the way from your yeah, colour yeah. changer it's already there. It's to already the part nozzle. Of there. It's already three quarters of the way there. Mm. And I think one of the things that we're definitely going to see a lot of commentary on going forward is speed of colour changes. Absolutely. Well, it's a hot topic right now, isn't it? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> In this very day. All right, Ross. All right. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. We're Happy to spend thanks, time with Thanks you. for the prop. I'll, um, I'll give it back to them oh, now. Yeah, a couple of things here. Obviously, congratulations on your new printer. 350, Thanks. 350 is incredible. And I think everybody's been asking for such a long time, we want a bigger printer. You're yes. obviously listening to the community. Uh, yeah, yeah, large. Yeah, and I mean, it's not just this printer. Obviously, we had the, the, the large bed sling of the Cobra 3, was it called? The big, the big 400? Yeah, the one uh, is Cobra 3 Max. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's our longest FDM open frame printer. Yeah, and I think that's the biggest multicolor printer uh, yeah. that, that anyone does. So it's certainly on the consumer level. So to see this 350 and the price is actually pretty compelling as well. Where are you? Where are you headed now with any cubic? Because we've had some ups and downs. The market's changed. Yeah. How are you? How are you as a business keeping up with the trends? Yeah, we are thinking that the 3D printer is. Uh, no longer for hobbies, I mean, alone. So, uh, but it's more from the hobbies to creators or even professionals. Right. So that is why we come up with the uh, Cobra S1 Max. So, um, I mean, it's, indeed it's large. I mean, 350 by 350 by 350. But it's not only large. Uh, actually, it can, it's large and it can handle the engineering grade materials. Yeah. Yeah, because of, uh, we put a whole, uh, like, a whole new heating management system inside the chamber and also in the filament box, right. S2 Pro. And so we got uh, a, fit, a temperature can go up, go up to uh, 65 degrees C in the, the filament box. Yep. And also the same, 65 uh, degrees C for the chamber as well. And also we have a high temperature nozzle, nozzle and also the 120 uh, degrees C hot bay. So, uh, hand together, so we can handle like engineering grade materials. Yep. Uh, PC, uh, PCT with uh, carbon fiber, or ABS, yeah. That's incredible. I mean, like I say, it, it came as a bit of a surprise to see this machine. I've been very excited to, to receive it. I think it's arriving in the next couple of weeks. So we'll get that out for review, of course. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. As always, it's good to see you. You too. We, it's great catching up and I'll let you get back to your food. I okay, appreciate right. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you very much. Right, well, back to you. You are watching a master at work.